The House of Representatives Committee on Army has pledged its commitment to ensure the Nigerian Army is placed on a pedestal to tackle the challenges of insecurity facing the country. Chairman House Committee on Army, Honorable Abdullahi Mamudu, while stating this at the inauguration of the committee on Tuesday in Abuja, says the committee is a responsibility to Nigerians. In this regard, he enjoined members to give maximum cooperation for the objective to be achieved. Honorable Mamudu says the committee has developed a four-year work plan that will judiciously followed within specific periods in order to achieve its mandate. The budget of the FCT, federal government gives FCT less than 20 billion in the budget. So most of this budget are statutory budgets. So we need money to run FCT. We are planning maybe by 2024 statutory budget at all pumping. We should think of one trillion and above. Yes. yes. Because we have it. There are ways to, to, to raise these monies. We have a serious minister that wants to work. You know, sometimes a lot of people do not understand when the, uh, the FCT minister is working. If you sit with him, you talk with him, you like me, he knows he's a serious person. So I'm pleading with this committee, please, we should support the FCT for us. We should support the FCT for us to get more revenues next year so that the 10th National Assembly will leave legacy. Members of the committee therefore pledge their commitment in actualizing the mandate of the committee. Mr. Chairman, I, I want you to take this um, into heart because a widow came to me crying and I ran to my husband. And it's like before we know it, the house was down. And she is left with four children out on the street. I think we have to look at that very carefully with a very compassionate heart uh, uh, so that this uh, committee, with great men, of Nigerian men here that I really trust you, are wonderful people and kind-hearted people. You will see that this demolition is, is, is stopped or slowed down so that what needs to be done will be done. The plight of the AICN, it is one of the reform initiatives of the Honorable Minister to address the revenue generation capacity of this agency, particularly their governance structure. And that is, that is what informed on this assumption of office to remove the headship in order to pave the way for unfettered review and uh, appointment of fellowship that will be able to fulfill the objectives. We pay great attention to the security challenge, and that is why we are implementing efforts that will address this. Why the problem of one chance is still there and other security measures? But if you recall in few uh, weeks now, there has been substantial decline in this. The police are implementing various measures and arrests are being made. And by now, within one or two weeks, no arrest is made because they have seen that they have to leave Abuja. So the incidence of having a vehicle carrying two plates number is now very rare. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.